What's up everyone, welcome to the YC Weekly. I'm your host Ari and as a female, sometimes I don't always feel properly represented in the media. Now, I was never a princesses in pink dresses sort of girl. Like, I had tea parties, but I did enjoy playing X-Men with my cousins. My favorite characters were Storm and Scarlet Witch, but I really liked Gambit and Angel as well. Sometimes we pretend to be Power Rangers, but I never really liked being the pink or the yellow ranger because I really, really hated those colors. So, when Power Rangers SPD came out with their first female Red Ranger, I really loved it. Even though she turned out to be an evil character. My favorite though was when the Blue and Yellow Ranger did a complete gender switch for Mystic Force. Blue is the best, so it was definitely for Ari. And you know, I personally am a big fan of influential female protagonists. And some of my favorite films, Kill Bill and Tank Girl, have some very unorthodox lead characters. Which made them really relatable, because not everyone practices pissy perfection on the reg. I personally hate when the female lead is distressed and ditzy, I call it being afflicted with the DD syndrome. But with the mainstream media being so saturated with flimsy feminine idols, there really isn't many options for us to choose from when all the female characters are just predetermined stereotypes. I am a very big reader. I like books, I like manga, and I like comics. And when it comes to manga though, I'm pretty clan biased. Like Tsubasa, Cardcaptor Sakura, XXXholic, storylines are great, the art is great, and I was pretty psyched to find out that Clamp is actually comprised of an entire team of female artists and storytellers. That's an unusual feat because the manga industry is predominantly male. I'm pretty sure they're well versed in disproportionate representation. But it isn't so much the characters as it is the talented ladies who are the real inspiration. That's it for this week. Be sure to like our youth channel on Facebook and follow us on Twitter and Instagram and subscribe to our YouTube channel. In the name of the moon, I shall punish you.